And most of the time, we ask someone, where's Sipadan, where's Lakawi, where's Red? And we don't know where the location of the meeting is. Okay, and okay, this okay. is even serious. It's okay. Most of the time, people book for the meeting room, but they don't actually using it. Like for example, people are booking for a recursive meeting, but they are not using it for a specific day for some reason. And it's slow when we select multiple meeting rooms. So the apps that we built is mainly to tackle the problem statement that we described earlier. And our solution have at once smart search and we do catch the data from the email server for local fast search. And we do have QR code scan acknowledgement, which we will demo to you later how it works. And we have fast booking to extend unfinished meeting, also in the demo later. And we have interactive map. So, without further ado, let's go to prototype demo. And this is the real app that we built real Android app that we built within 24 hours since yesterday. So let's launch the app. And we call the app Grab Room, by the way. And it start checking your location automatically using GPS. So now it detected that we are at Malaysia, G Power level 26. Click on OK. And we can see this is the location map of the meeting room. And we have two color, as you can see, red, and green. Red indicates not available, green available. So let's say what we can see from the not available meeting room. So, yeah, let's click on Penang, maybe. Yeah. So this is not available at this moment, and it will suggest us automatically that the meeting room is available from 3 to 4 30 pm. Nice picture there. And let's go back to book for Langkawi this time because Langkawi is available. Oh, sorry, before that, I think I need to emphasize on the drop down box on top. So when we click on the drop down box, you can see we have multiple level if you have in specific building or we can even select different country for room booking. Let's say we are in business trip or the other country. And this means to say our app is scalable to deploy into multiple country easily. So go back net. We're going to book for Langkawi. Click on Langkawi. And here we can search the invitee's name. Let's say searching now. So it's auto complete. It's auto uh, string down to the user that we search. So let's say now we wanted to invite Sun Yong and follow by the date from Let's say we select Saturday, 12, so minutes, so select date 2, and the 1337 team meeting and the innovation day is basically the email subject, also email, email body. So we preset it because just for the demo purposes only. So below it, I think notice this, this track attendance checkbox. So basically the usage of this checkbox is to allow the organizer to track the attendance of the invitees. So it's basically useful for HR to track 
who is compulsory to attend the training, but they are not. So in this case, we will skip. We will check, it's okay, then we stand. So once we stand, it will show, okay, the meeting room is now successfully booked. Let's go back to the calendar. This is the real API call to Microsoft, uh, to Office 360. And it really booked the meeting room using our app. So we go back to the calendar and see. So this is, no, I think, Saturday. Saturday? Yeah, yeah. So as you guys can see, this is the real meeting that we have sent using the app via Microsoft Graph API. Okay, let's go back and click on the menu. So actually we have not only one features, but we do have scan QR code features. And let me explain how these features work. Basically, Basically, uh, there's a Q&A session later that allows you to ask me. Sorry, judges. Sorry. <laughs> and, uh, we have scan QR code feature, basically. And how these features work is we wanted to enforce the meeting policies into our company because we found that a lot of people we book the meeting room but we are not using it, which we book for. Maybe it's just recursive and be lazy to cancel it. <coughs> so basically this scan QR code is the function that we wanted us to acknowledge that we okay. are using the meeting room within five sec five minutes. So if let's say the user, the organizer or the attendees didn't scan this QR code, meaning that the meeting room will be released automatically by the system, which allows others to book for it. So let's go with the scan QR code. So suppose this QR code is just a plain paper, by the way. So this QR code is supposed to stick in front of each meeting room to allow us to acknowledge ourselves that we booked the meeting room and we wanted to use it seriously, and we have used it. Seriously. So now the notification <laughs> saying that we have so acknowledged ourselves to room Langkawi. And Let's say the user, the organizer, attendees forgot to scan. They have excuse. Users having many excuses sometimes. So in this case, the system will automatically send a notification to the user to double confirm again. If they did not perform the step to scan the QR code, the notifications will send to organizer and attendees. So either one of them acknowledge the meeting room is now acknowledged they are using it. So it's either yes or no, skip this one. And we go to the menu again. And new booking room. So basically, this is the features that we made. No, not much different from the booking that we see previously. But in here, we allow user to select the equipments available in each meeting room. So let's say we want teleconference we want whiteboard. Automatically, it will filter out the meeting available which equipped with these two equipment. Let's say we go to Langkawi again, and same thing happened. We need to search the invitee, fill up the subject, note track attendance, and send. So you will see this one because she presented before. And we're going to show you what this SOS button use. The usage of this one is so normally, when user they having meeting, but the thing is, when they they haven't finished their meeting, but the room is being waiting, that someone is waiting for the meeting room. So these features basically allows us to make a fast booking. So let's click on it, SOS, and it will check availability room now, and it allows us to book. So the prerequisite is if there's no meeting room available, the system automatically send the notification to those who are using the meeting room and they will ask whether they are used or not. So if they release, then we can go. And go back to the future enhancement, I guess. <clears throat> so this is the list that 
we are going to Pulja and Hat. Meeting template, that office facilities. And <clears throat> this is not full fledged, and we need your support <laughs> to make it real. To beneficial to everyone else here.